I think the next stage in the process is to try putting power on the chassis without the valves in. With no rectifier in place, the only thing that's running is the transformer. Uh, so I can check the voltages coming from that and obviously make sure it's not going to just blow the fuse as soon as I turn it on. So I'll connect the power cable and I have carefully tested it to ensure there's no uh, shorts or earth, direct shorts or earth leakage on the power system. So here goes. You've got a pilot that works. So that looks promising. The transformer's intact. And somewhere on here, there should be a filament supply. I can't actually add into it at the minute. Okay, that's the uh, feed out to the rectifier. So that side of the transformer there appears to be the high voltage secondary. Yes, center tap. And that's 288 either side. So the other terminal was here. Yeah, that's power, power, no, hmm, okay there's a filament connection somewhere in there. It may just be to ground. Like that. Right, so roughly 6.6 6 volts AC, a little bit over with it offload. But uh, that looks promising. The next thing to do is try putting a rectifier in it to uh, start repolarizing the main capacitor. In fact, that should, it should repolarize all of them to some extent. I'm not going to put the valve in. What I'm going to do is put a silicon rectifier in with a high value resistor in series with it. So if the capacitors are leaking, they just simply don't build up voltage and don't do any harm. And it should gradually allow them to repolarize and reform without uh, risk of damage. But for now, I'll just turn it off again. Stop the camera whilst I uh, do the rearrangements. Right, that's the uh, temporary rectifier set up. It's two one in four to blow seven diodes, one on the side, uh, from the valve pins that come from the transformer windings, feeding two 330k ohm resistors twisted together and into the uh, cathode pin position which goes to the main smoothing capacitor so when that's powered up it'll put at most one milliamp through the rectifiers and charge the capacitor so the next thing is to see if it actually charges Let's get the box back I'm using the stand 
reconnect it. Plug in and uh, again see what happens. Yes, definitely a lot of leakage there. As uh, the voltage is building up very slowly, considering there's uh, almost 300 volts AC. Was it 288 volts AC on on the winding on each in each side of the transformers from the center tap? Oh no. Hmm. Strange. Acting like something. It's only, it's only showing 30 volts now. No, I'm turning that off again, I'm not happy. The transformer is quite high. Yeah, the transformer is getting warm. Slightly. I think something's taking some power that shouldn't be at the minute. I'm pulling the voltage right down. I don't see how it can load it through those diodes. Now, shut it down and uh, check it over. Okay, fault checked. Um, I think the only problem was the lack of coating on the transformer terminals was preventing a, a good meter lead contact to certain positions. If I stick to earthing it on the chassis, I get. Well, I got to AC on there. Around 290 volts on either end of the transformer. The DC voltage is building up very, very slowly. See, it's uh, maybe a tenth of a volt a second. So that is going to take some time to fully reform the capacitors and repolarize them. So everything seems okay as it's doing that. Uh, I'm just going to leave it uh, switched on for half an hour or so and uh, check it again.